Well, just when you think you've had every edible form of oyster there is, there's always more to try. From raw on the half shell to deep fried, it's definitely one of the most versatile of Delmarva's many delicacies. Today we're making oyster pie, and I wish I could take the credit for the recipe, but it is a, a Bridge Club member that I play with. Hopefully she'll let me win next week. But it is her recipe. And you know, when you have a recipe, you add your touches to it and you make it your own. So we're gonna start first with a pint of oysters. Look at those. And you know my rule is always know what you're eating. We want to know how salty it is. We want to know, make sure it's fresh. And I'm gonna take one for the team. Mmm, warp it down. Now, for my taste, it needs some salt. So we're going to add some salt, because you remember, we're not just salting the oyster. We've got to make sure we salt the pie crust as well. So we're going to salt these and let them sit for a few minutes. At the end of this recipe, we will have used six ingredients. And I want to do that so that you know Cooking is easy. It can be delicious, it can be fun, it brings your family together, it brings friends together. And we don't want to lose sight of that and, and using good Eastern Shore ingredients. So I'm gonna thin this out just a little bit. I'm gonna leave it in my circle, I'm just adding enough flour. This is an old fashioned way, just roll it up, get your pie plate. Put this in the center. I'm gonna just let it go in my pie plate. Remember those delicious oysters that we salted down? Don't take a break because you're gonna miss the next step. You literally pour those oysters, liquor and all, into your pie plate. Now see, if you had gotten up, you would have missed that. Now, I'm going to just salt them again. Fresh cracked pepper my favorite ingredient. Eddie and I always liked Old Bay with anything seafood. So I use a little touch of that. That's something I don't know if Patty did that or not, but I do. You can use seasoned salt, you could use garlic salt, you could use onion flakes, you could do Worcestershire sauce. But we're starting today with a bare bones recipe and you could add a potato to it. So we're starting with a bare bones recipe and you build from there. When you're dealing with Karen Brimer in the kitchen, have you noticed one of my key ingredients is always butter. I use salted, you can use unsalted as well, it doesn't matter. But you're gonna take a half a stick of butter and you're just gonna cut the pads. How easy is this? You don't even have to write a recipe down. And if we've just inspired you just a little bit to, to go buy some seafood or to try a different recipe, we've, we've accomplished what we want to do. Now, don't blink. This is the reason I made this a little larger. I'm going to come back and fold this over. But all of that juice and all of that butter will become absorbed into your pie crust. And you talk about good flavor. It's just the best. Now I've set the oven at 400. We'll put it in the oven 400 for about 50 minutes. You see all the bubbling? It's the butter and the oyster liquor. Do yourself a favor and let that rest for about 10 to 15 minutes and all those juices will settle down and they'll become absorbed into your pie crust. And that is your Eastern Shore flavor. Are we ready? Let's have some. Let's try it out. And see that oyster sauce and the butter all goes and it's absorbed into the, into the crust. You could make your crust, put another crust over top of it if you want. You be creative, you do it the way you want. And thanks again to Patty for sharing her recipe. Come on, let's go in the dining room and have some dinner. Andrew, one more time. Here's to us, here's to Patty's recipe, and get outdoors, Delmarva. Mm -hmm.